Hey everyone, have you ever wondered if AI could do more than just solve problems and crunch numbers? What if it could actually create entirely new things? Well, buckle up, because that's exactly what generative AI is all about. Think about it. Music that sounds like your favorite artist, but it's totally original. Paintings so beautiful, they could hang in a museum, all created by a machine. It's pretty mind-blowing, right? Generative AI is not just about understanding and replicating existing data. It's about creating new content that can amaze and inspire. And guess what? This field is exploding. By 2025, experts predict that a whooping 10% of the data we see will be AI generated. That's a tenfold increase in just two years. So with generative AI set to revolutionize so many areas, let's dive in and explore what makes this technology so exciting. Today, we will uncover its mysteries, learn how it works, and discover the incredible possibilities it holds for the future. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a creative professional, or just curious about the next big thing in AI, this journey into the world of generative AI is sure to captivate your imagination. And before commencing, just a quick info for you. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. If you want to enhance your career in AI, here's some quick info for you. Check out Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning with Purdue University and IBM. This program is perfect for aspiring AI enthusiasts and professionals looking to switch careers. Gain expertise in generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, explainable AI, machine learning algorithms, and much more. A year experience is preferred. Hurry up and enroll now. Find the course link in the description box and pinned comments. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, now let's understand what is generative AI. So generative AI is a subset of artificial intelligence that focuses on creating new data rather than just analyzing or interpreting existing data. Unlike traditional AI, which might predict the next word in a sentence or classify an image as a cat or dog, generative AI can create entirely new content. Think of it as an artist who doesn't just critique paintings but creates original masterpieces. This technology uses models like GANs, that is Generative Adversarial Networks, and VA, that is Variational Autoencoders, to generate text, images, music, and even complex simulations. It's like giving AI a creative spark, allowing it to produce new, unique outputs based on the data it has learned from. All right, now some of the well-known generative AI models include OpenAI's ChatGPT, DALI, and MidJourney. These models have gained popularity for their ability to generate human-like text and realistic images. For instance, ChatGPT can engage in detailed and nuanced conversations mimicking human dialogue impressively well. DALI can create stunning images from textual descriptions conjuring up visuals that look as if they were made by a skilled artist. Similarly, Midjourney focuses on producing high-quality artistic images based on the prompts. But it doesn't stop there. AI can compose original music too. OpenAI's MuseNet, for example, can generate songs in various styles from classical to pop, blending different genres. Imagine a computer creating a symphony that sounds like it was composed by Beethoven or a pop song that could top the charts. This ability to generate novel, high-quality content makes generative AI truly revolutionary. All right, so this was about generative AI. Now, let's understand about the components and architecture of generative AI. So, the inner workings of generative AI involve a complex interplay between different components. At the heart lies a generator, responsible for creating entirely new data samples. It's like a powerful machine that can take existing information and use it to build something entirely new. But how does that generator know what to create? That's where another critical crucial component comes in, that is the discriminator. This acts as a quality check comparing the generative data to the real data and judges its accuracy and realism. It essentially tells the generator, hey, that doesn't quite look right, try again. Think of it like this. Imagine an artist trying to paint a portrait based on what they have learned about faces. The generator is the artist 
constantly creating new variations. The discriminator is the art critic providing the feedback and pushing the artist to refine their work. This back and forth process allows generative AI to learn and improve its creative abilities. There are other architectures besides the adversarial approach. Some models use an encoder and a decoder. The encoder acts like a data compressor taking complex information and condensing it into a smaller form. The decoder then takes this compressed representation and uses it to build the original data but with a twist. It can introduce variations and create something entirely new. No matter the architecture, all generative AI models rely on two massive things. That is, massive amounts of data to learn from any significant computational power to process and generate new content. It's like having a vast library of knowledge and a super-powered computer at your disposal to fuel your creative output. Alright, now let's understand about how generative AI is different from AI. So while both generative AI and traditional AI fall under the broad umbrella of artificial intelligence, their functions and capabilities differ significantly. Traditional AI is primarily designed for specific tasks like classification, prediction, and optimization. It's excellent at interpreting existing data to make decisions or predictions. For instance, AI can analyze customer data to predict buying behavior or classify images based on their content. On the other hand, generative AI goes a step further. By creating new data, it doesn't just interpret the world, it builds upon it. Imagine it this way. A traditional AI model might identify a face in a photo recognizing features and comparing them to a database to say this is a cat or this is a dog. It's great at sorting and making sense of what already exists. Now picture generative AI as an artist. Instead of just recognizing a face, it can paint a completely new face that has never existed before. It creates rather than just understands. Alright, so this was about how Gen AI is different from traditional AI. Now let's have a look at its applications. So Gen AI applications. In the world of creativity, generative AI is inspiring artists, musicians and even storytellers. It can help create unique artwork, compose new music or even craft storylines, all with its own unique twist. Imagine a tool that can spark creative ideas and help bring them to life. Healthcare is another area where generative AI is making waves. It can create realistic simulated data to train over AI models used in medicine, which is crucial for protecting patients' privacy. This same ability to create simulation can also be used to model complex structure, which can aid in drug discovery and medical research. Next, the entertainment industry is jumping to the generative AI brandwagon too. From creating immersive visual experiences to developing a cutting-edge technology, generative AI is shaping the way we experience entertainment. Imagine exploring fantastical worlds or interacting with characters in a whole new way. Even businesses are getting in the action. Generative AI is being used to create personalized marketing campaigns, tailoring content to individual users for a more engaging experience. It's like having a tool that can understand your preferences and suggest things you would actually be interested in. The possibilities with generative AI are truly endless by creating entirely new things instead of just analyzing existing data. So these were some of the Gen AI applications. Now let's understand the challenges and ethical concerns. Generative AI is exciting, but like any powerful tool, it comes with its own set of challenges. So talking about the challenges, one big concern is how it might be misused. So imagine creating a fake videos that look like so real, they can trick anyone. That's the dark side of deep fakes. There's also the worry of AI generating false information that spreads like the wildfire online. We need to be careful about how this technology is used. Another question mark is the ownership. Who owns the creative output of a machine? If AI writes a song, who gets the credit? There's a legal gray areas that need to be ironed out. Generative AI also isn't cheap. It requires a ton of data and powerful computers to run, which can raise environmental concern about the energy it consumes. Here's another thing to consider. The data used to train these models can be biased. If the AI learns from biased information, its outputs could be biased too. By addressing these challenges responsibly, we can assure generative AI is a force for good that benefits everyone. It's all about using this powerful tool wisely as we explore its incredible potential. So there you have it. We have taken a tour of generative AI exploring its potential to create entirely new things and push the boundaries of creativity. From revolutionizing industries to sparkling artistic innovation, generative AI is a powerful tool with a bright future. 
All right, guys, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.